Welcome to Combat Wing Chun. Today we're going to show you how to punch faster. There's two ways of punching faster. The first is technical speed and the second way is perceptive speed. So we'll show you how to do that right now. The first strategy of punching faster is to have better technical speed. Technical speed means to have better body mechanics and position for your body to punch faster. So the first tip is to have a, a low elbow that comes out straight like this instead of throwing out your elbow because this causes your hand to go in a straight line. So have a straight uh, low elbow come out like this. So whether you punch with a vertical fist like that or a horizontal, even when we do horizontal, at the end you do a little snap like this. Okay, but you see that my elbow is going straight uh, up and down like that. It's not coming out, it's not going this way. Okay, so the first thing is low elbow. Second thing is to travel in a straight line. You want to go from point A to point B like that in a straight line. You don't want to go up, you don't want to go around, you don't want to go, you don't want to go around, that's a hug, you don't want to go back, it's a back fist, you want to go straight line. Okay, straight line makes you travel in a faster way, so like that. Okay, um, third one is to relax. So if you tense up your muscles like this, it actually slows down the punch, right? And there's less power. Yeah. I'm tensing up, okay? It slows it down, there's less power. So relax, keep your hand in a fist, okay? But not clenched, okay? So just keep your hand in the fist, but relax the hand slightly, let's say 50% clenched, okay? Everything else is relaxed, your whole body relaxed, and then whip it out like that. So that is the third way, is to be relaxed. The fourth way, technically, is to snap the punch back as fast as you bring it out. So you out and in, like that. Out and in, out and in. Bring it back as fast as you bring it out. Here's a bonus way to increase your technical speed. So we talked about four ways. It's actually another five, fifth way. Notice my stance is a um, little bit slightly leaning forward. So if I'm leaning forward, my momentum is already going forward. If I'm going leaning backward, my momentum is backward. And if I want to go forward, I have to actually bring my momentum forward a little bit before I move forward. But if I'm already leading forward, then my momentum, I'm cheating gravity, and makes me move forward faster. So if I need to, let's say, gap, uh, reach this distance, if I don't take a step, I can't reach it. So if I need to reach that, I have to take a step like that. Okay? Like that. So another fifth technical speed is if you need to take a step, is to lean forward a little bit so that you cheat gravity and your momentum brings you forward faster. So the second strategy of increasing your speed is to increase the perceptive speed. That means increase the speed um, so that the, your opponent won't see it coming. Okay, so the first way of doing this is to um, not have any telegraphing movements. So one way to train this is to have the partner do this, hold a pad, Okay, make sure that you have right distance so you can actually hit it and then you want to hit it and as soon as he sees me moving, he's going to move the pad back so I can't hit it. Okay, okay so if I'm really slow, do the same thing, if I'm slow, I won't be able to hit it. Okay, so let's say that I do something wrong which is I move my elbow like this, he's going to see that, right? Or if I uh, wind up and then hit it, he's going to see that. If I move my shoulder up first and then hit it, he's going to see that, right? So. What you want to do is that if you're missing it, ask your partner, what is he seeing me move before he sees the punch? And then when he tells you, that's what you need to change. Okay? So ideally, you're going to be completely still okay? and then go into the punch without any telegraphic movements like that. Okay? Right now, I can't really reach it. It's a little bit closer so I can actually reach it. Okay? Like that. So. That's perceptive speed. So like I said, um, you want to be non-telegraphing. So that means minimal movement. You don't want to have any raising of the elbow. You don't want to raise your shoulder. You don't want to cough your hand. You don't want to actually make any movement. You don't want to make your eyes bigger or grit your teeth or to make a loud noise. So minimal movement. Another thing that's very important that Bruce Lee emphasizes is to move your hand before foot. So in fencing, this is very important because they don't want to see uh, the attack coming with a step. So usually when somebody punches, they're going to take a step to get into range and then punch. So what you don't want to do is to take a big step and then punch like that. That's too obvious because once you see you move your leg and step, he's going to know the punch is coming already. Okay? So what you want to do is to at least be able to step and punch at the same time. Now what Bruce Lee says 
uh, I'm calling his fencing training, is to move the hand before the foot. So you want to be moving the hand forward already before you even move the foot. So it's something like this. Okay, so you're kind of like falling into the punch. Okay, so that way, he won't even be able to see your foot move because you already moved your hand first. Okay, but if you can't get to that level, just do this, is to time the step to land at the same time as you land on target. So like that, okay, like that. So that's the third tip, is to move your hand faster than your foot or at least at the same time as your foot lands uh, on the ground. Here are four tricks that you can use to make your punching speed even faster. Trick number one is to sneak the distance. So let's say that distance is here, okay? And uh, this is my reach, right? So what I want to do, so instead of punching from your chin to here, there's a distance from A to B, I'm going to sneak the distance and actually put my hand out here, so then my hand only has to travel from here to here, so it's a shorter distance. Shorter distance means faster, okay? It'll have less time to react to that. So, instead of punching here, I'm going to punch from here. It's even shorter distance. Okay, punch somewhere in between. The only downside of that is that when you bring your hand away from your chin, you're open to attacks because you just, um, you just open it up your face over here, right? So make sure that you do use it at the right time. A second trick is to make your hand a little bit lower. Now, this will be probably a little bit more useful in street self-defense because when you bring your hand lower, it, it, uh, it's out of his uh, field of vision, especially when somebody's angry. So in a street fight, usually the guy is angry, he's pumping full of adrenaline, and what that does to a person is you start to get tunnel vision, okay? Your field of vision actually narrows. So what that happen, what, when that happens, it's really beneficial for you to actually start with your fist lower, especially as the, before the fight, so that when it comes up, it's actually outside his field of vision. It'll be actually harder for him to see it coming because it's outside of his tunnel vision. So it'll somewhere like around here, okay, a little bit lower. And once again, um, whenever you bring your hands down, you're open to attack. So make sure that you don't use it um, or just use it at the right time. The third little trick of increasing your speed in punching is to punch from movement. So this helps um, especially in inspiring, you're already in the fight and you're moving around, okay? So what you want to do is not stand still like this. In training, we stand still like this and then punch so that we can train the reaction speed, we train the non-telegraph ability. But once you start the fight, okay, you want to be moving your hand around, okay? Because punching, I mean, uh, seeing something move that already started in movement, that's already moving, it's harder to see, okay? Because it's easy for him to see I'm not moving, then I'm moving, to I'm already moving, and then I move a little bit faster, okay? So the third way is to hide your punch in the middle of movement. So it can be, uh, like this, or it's like, hey, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, and then like that. So you're, you're moving your hands, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight, boom, like that, okay? So it's harder for someone to catch movement when somebody's, something's already moving. The fourth trick to increasing your punching speed is to punch in the middle of, of a sentence. Okay? So, bring your hey, yeah, 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 like that. Okay. Uh, or, somebody he's coming in and I say, hey, I don't want to, like that. I don't want, and then you just punch in the middle of a sentence. Okay? Uh, it works almost every time that I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> say, hey, what's up, boy? Somebody's coming in and say, Say, hey, what's that with it? <laughs> and you punch, it's been a right? long time, Marty. <laughs> okay, so it's a little trick. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that in the actual sparring or in the competition, but it works very well, especially if you're self defense. You say, hey, I don't want to fight, right? So, in the middle of a sentence, the guy, <laughs> it just, it's a, basically a distraction, all right? And it's hard for someone to see a punch coming, even and realize that you're about to punch them when you're in the middle of a sentence. So those are four more tricks for you that you can use to increase your punching speed. And thanks for watching our video on how to punch faster. Hope that helps you out. If you want to check out more of our videos, we got them right here for you. And if you're not already a subscriber, quick click the subscribe button and to get more self-defense, fighting, Wing Chun, and martial arts tips. So we'll see you soon in the next video.